speech rules here at Democratic Earth. I'm Cyborg Alpha. Welcome to Cyborg and Cybernetics. I'd like to welcome you to uh, the first episode, actually episode zero, our pilot episode of Cyborgs and Cybernetics. Um, Dr. Daniel Karras, um, the second half or the human half of Cyborg Alpha. Uh, this will be a rather different uh, type of uh, program. It's not simply going to be reviewing and reporting on um, goings on in the robotic community. Uh, it's active, I'm actively developing something along the lines of data. This is my goal that I set out uh, uh, more, than, well, more than 20 years ago. Uh, uh, the question was, as I was doing my astrophysics, uh, whether or not you could actually build something like data and how would you go about doing it. So I set up the Cybernetics Institute to do so and in the process began on uh, my journey uh, into cyborgs and cybernetics. Uh, I'm at the point now where uh, I've got a sort of uh, a growing proof of concept under Cyborg Alpha. Uh, I've now recently joined uh, the open source community, so I'm now actively doing development. This gives me uh, a position where uh, I can now take some of the theoretical work I've done in terms of uh, understanding human intelligence and behavior and bringing them into a, uh, a software model. Uh, I am not at this point in time going into, although I am watching it, uh, the physical mechanisms of the robot. I am looking primarily at the the software or the soft aspects rather than at the hardware aspects. Although uh, the hardware aspects, uh, I have a beginnings of uh, electronic engineering lab. I have beginnings of a machine shop. Uh, out back so that maybe within about a year or so I should be able to start really moving into the hardware aspect of uh, robotics and uh, I really do I think because the first step is, is for me is a cyborg rather than than full robot or the, rather than a full Android uh, uh, for me a cyborg does not have to be physically attached to the person it simply needs to be uh, connected to a person in a way that uh, the two function symbiotically. It's, it's what we would say that these two entities, the cyborg, the, 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 the cyborg is a human electronic uh, symbiotic relationship. And this is uh, how I've defined, defined now the cyborg. The cyborg is no longer strictly uh, an electronic implant, but it's the relationship between the machine and the human being. In the way that the machine helps the human being project his being into multiple places at the same time. In other words, uh, if the person is, you know, really connected to the to the cyborg. He should be able to extend himself out onto the internet and gain a virtual presence, uh, no matter where he comes out on the internet, and interact uh, through the cyborg with other entities and people inside the, the internet or even at the other end of where uh, the uh, sort of the uh, 
I guess you call it the dividing line between the cyber world and the real world. In other words, the 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 essence of the cyborg gives the human part of the uh, equation access to the world through the computer, through the uh, you know, through his cybernetic cybernetic half. So that being said, uh, I've looked at a lot of the artificial intelligence programming that's out there. A lot of it's it, it's very good, uh, but I don't know whether it's promising because what seems to be happening in the uh, the world, I guess this has to, in, in the um, in this robotic world, is that robots are basically being designed as either slaves, servants, or mechanisms uh, for our own use. We are not treating. Uh, these robots as we intend to create them as if we're t intending to create sentient beings beings that are fully independent and self-aware then we need to be aware from the beginning that our actions and how we treat these uh, these soon-to-be entities that if it's self-learning and self-aware that if we are violent towards whatever we are working with, or if the robot is in a violent, and this is a self-learning robot, is in a violent environment, such as the military environment, then at some point in time, the robot itself will learn the violence that it was in that that it was being that it was learning from. Then the if the environment teaches and it does for everybody that it, the environment teaches for me we know this even for animals is true the environment teaches so if your environment is violent the teaching will be violent this plays out that any sentient robot or self-learning robot in a violent environment will uh, become ultimately violent and because it's it's independent and self-learning the there will be no control to say no you can't attack me in terms of attacking the creator so what we'll end up what we'll end up with is something more along the lines of Frankenstein uh, and this is sort of where we are right now we're sort of in the uh, Frankenstein period uh, of cyborgs and cybernetics in terms of that we're still really tinkering with the different parts and we're not really we're not too fully aware of what we're doing or what the consequences will be so this show will start looking in that at that looking at in the direction things are going uh, and looking at some both of the, the, the positive outcomes like uh, help for the elderly uh, something that uh, can be a companion for people who have no 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 companionship uh, these are some of the positive things that come out of it. But we'll also be looking at the negative aspects uh, that would come out of uh, exploitation just in the same manner that human beings are ex exploited for uh, various negative behaviors. Behaviors that foster uh, violence and violent behavior. And this is primarily a, a, what we could call abusive behavior. So this will be a sort of a connection of the mechanical with the whole field of cybernetics. This is where the show will be going. So I hope you stay tuned. We will be bringing to this to you it will once a week, uh, typically on the weekends. We will be uploading a half-hour segment and uh, depending on the how the processing time goes, it will be either be Saturday or Sunday that this uh, the, 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 the episode comes out. So thank you for watching uh, Cyborgs and Cybernetics. This is the uh, pilot episode, and we'll be seeing you next week for the first full episode of uh, Cyborgs and Cybernetics. 
I'm Cyborg Alpha. Welcome to Cyborg and Cybernetics. Free speech rules here at Democratic Earth.